This box is from a YouTube influencer in Airsoft. Let's find out who. So am I getting off the Box of Awesomeness train? Uh, the answer is probably no, because actually they release a lot of mystery boxes and the value is nearly always there. So I'm gonna keep doing it, but this one is not from them. This one is from a retailer that I've bought a few things from. They've really made a splash on my radar in the last six months because they have teamed up with two YouTube Airsoft channels. Now one is C7 Viper and the other one is this, and it's from US Airsoft. Now US Airsoft, I wasn't watching that much until probably like the last three or four months. I think he's had some associations with Airsoft GI and Evike in the past. This is a mystery box that he did in conjunction with SS Airsoft. You've probably heard their name. Now they've done a C7 Viper box and a US Airsoft box. If you haven't checked out this guy's channel, go and have a look at it now. He's been making Airsoft content for years. He does some awesome longer form content and actually he goes into a lot of detail about the different types of weapons AEGs that are being uh, sold by different manufacturers to give you a real idea of what you're buying if you're gonna buy it. Definitely watch some of his videos prior to purchasing stuff and it's given me a really good idea of what I'm buying. So to give you an idea, this box was priced at $250. So the other C7 Viper box, which is Glocktober, I believe, uh, was priced at about 180 with a value over 200. So I'm expecting, hopefully, uh, a good value in this. It's quite a heavy box. One thing I would say is the packaging when it arrived wasn't great. This tape was slightly coming off. And if you can see here, I can see kind of little rubber styrofoam things, which looks like it's gonna be packing peanuts in here, which I hate because George normally will just run around pushing them everywhere. And it's not great for the environment, I don't think. Being in California right now, I hear a lot about that. Packing paper's the way to go. Now let's find out what's in this box. I think there's gonna be some extra stuff in here as well, but I'm just excited to see what's inside. So, uh, yeah, we have tons of these packing, packing peanuts. I don't know if you can see here, but George, George was getting a bit excited there. Packing peanut. Yeah, he likes to look at that because he thinks that I'm just getting those and not an actual airsoft gun. So this is gonna make this a bit of a messy unboxing, I'm afraid. Do do do. I'm actually now a US citizen, so this is kind of awesome. They've actually just put a US flag in here. As I said, there's a lot of these packing peanuts in here, so I'm gonna try and go around them. Okay, little thank you card. Oh, that's awesome. He's dr actually drawn a little picture of himself, US Airsoft. This is kind of the, for me, his kind of signature is wearing this beanie thing. And he says, dude, thank you. I hope you get something great from this box. And he signed it. I think actually on recent videos of watching this guy, he now is making YouTube and Airsoft YouTube his full-time job. So that is awesome that our sport is so cool that people can do that. This is maxed on this box. So this box in here, there's nothing else in it. It's got weight to it as well. Generally, I find if a box has got weight to it and it's one item especially, then it's gonna be pretty good value. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here quickly just so that I can't see what it is. And I'm gonna look among the, the things. SS Airsoft, great little patch there. Oh, now this is a cool one, US Airsoft. That is for the channel. So that's one I don't have. We also have a uh, little American flag sticker and Ooh, a little uh, American flag pin there as well. Obviously tons of these, but we don't know if there is anything else. There isn't anything else, just packing peanuts. So I'm gonna put this down over here. Oh no, packing peanuts just went everywhere. George, look how happy he is. He's literally so happy. Little tongue out. Yeah, he's giving me a lick because he knows how annoyed I'm gonna be by this. But what is exciting is this. So it says e &L on it. I remember the brand e and l and I think it's quite like a niche, smaller brand, but I don't think I've got anything from them and I don't know what this is gonna be in any way. I hate it when boxes do this, you know, like you see people rip them because of the fact that they won't bend back like that. Okay, well this looks like a good kind of indication that this thing is worth a lot. So it says legendary perfection right here. And it is basically like a little uh, banner that's across here. So if the quality of the packaging is anything to go by, I think this is gonna be really good. 
and I do think it's going to be really good. Um, <clears throat> so this to me looks exactly identical to what Arcturus do for their AEG. The ones that I've got are AKs and I don't know if you guys can see here but this is very clearly an AK variant uh, which I'll get out for you now. Packaging is amazing and with that we have a little fuse so if the fuse goes then we can replace it. We have a little bottle which has got nothing in it but actually it's kind of cool because of the fact that you could store BBs in here, I'm sure you could do other things. Again this, this is what I think all airsoft manufacturers should do. It is a measure of five rounds, the speed at which they are coming out and the muzzle velocity in terms of joules and so it's passed a QC test, a quality control test. So That means they've actually fired the gun, they know it works, they're not just sending out something that should work based on uh, previous builds. Let's get this thing out. The reason I looked quite excited when I opened it is the fact that this looks like it's real wood. Now I've had some of these in the past which are fake wood. Um, now fake wood in a way is kind of great because of the fact that this isn't a real AK uh, and actually probably practicality wise fake wood is going to be lighter. Um, it might actually wear a bit better. Uh, sorry not wear but it may just have better longevity in the way that it lasts but uh, real wood is obviously very cool because it feels real. Now there are already some red flags. I already am not impressed in any way with this real wood. This is a polymer pistol grip which we have on there uh, which is kind of like the real ones. Uh, it has a little button here which I can push in and that is going to basically open the folding stock and so that clicks in. Really cool. Obviously you can use this as a more compact AEG, almost like an SMG if you're going in places, uh, but I think that's really, really cool. I think in terms of getting it back, this is gonna be an interesting one. You, ah, oh, okay, so there's a little catch right here. You can open up that catch and click it out. Really firm, really solid. This thing is really, really solid. You know if you've watched this channel before what I hate about AKs mainly. There's two things, one of them is this. Uh, the fact that you have to fit a battery in there. Oh, hold on a second. Look at that. They've actually done some work of improving this. You can replace the, the fuse here, which looks pretty easy to do. This doesn't come off, which means you're not trying to find where it's going to go in. That's always my issue. It is small to me, which is really annoying. Can we please go to Dean's, everyone? We need to do it. But actually, you basically run a long type battery in here, uh, and then... Once you've done that, you can just switch it back on. Just click it. That is perfect. That's ideal. So I really like that. And actually what I also really like is this kind of updated iron sight, the rear sight that is again in that place where it's holding it. They also have like a side mount on here. So if you wanted to run like a little rail above here, like a Picatinny to put a, another sight on top. So they've kind of thought it out. Now, Fire select is the same. This one's actually quite nice and robust, so it's not gonna slip at the moment, but you kind of wanna keep that tightened up as much as possible. Now, the thing that is the only thing right now that I really don't like, let's check this. Okay, so that's another thing. It's a slide hop up. Uh, it, you know, it's not gonna be very accurate and we probably need to up the game from where that was a while ago. This is cool. Actually sounds pretty good. This is normally kind of a light metal, uh, not very good quality bolt cover, but this one actually feels really solid and it's kind of that good metal. So the thing I don't like, let's get onto it. You can probably see that this is real wood, which is really cool. You know, it's like the real thing. Uh, AK-47s built originally back in 1947. Wood was obviously a very common element to use in firearms as it had been in the past. So therefore it was used in this, easy to replace, etc. Now here, it looks like it's been done by uh, a child or an amateur. Like this filed here is awful. It's not finished. There is a little like slice mark here which looks like it's where they've actually cut it and on this front end here it's just got a little bolt mark which basically just looks like someone's hit it accidentally. This is awful. I presume that you can actually replace it but there's the splinters. I mean like if I run my finger along there I've got wood pushing into my finger. I'm actually bleeding. That's probably something we don't want to show you, but that's from the wood, um, which is not great. So guys, e &L, I mean, generally, I think this is good. However, this is awful. I presume it's something you could replace because it's probably quite easy to get hold of wood in this shape, but I don't take my word for that. And I don't, 
I don't know if that is the case, but I am really, really shocked by this because if it's, you know, whatever it says, quality performance, then I don't know, it's just not, it's not quality in the way that I think quality performance should be. The other thing that they have given us, which I'm not gonna open actually, uh, but it is a low, a mid cap AK mag. Um, so it's kind of that more brown, as you know, I don't like how you have to hook that in and push it. I'm not massively impressed. What's really gonna be the decider for this one is the price. As I said, I spent $250 on this, so I'm expecting the value to be higher. Also, sorry, there's a plastic orange flash hider, which is the biggest, most ugly thing you've ever seen. They've actually given you a metal black version. Value-wise, so it's an ENL LX 74UN AEG Essential. So I'm gonna try writing that on the SS Airsoft website. Okay guys, so this is the ENL AKS 74UN uh, Essential a Airsoft AEG with real wood furniture. Price of it is $259.99. So guys, I spent $250 and I basically got $9.99 in value. I wouldn't have bought this. I do love SS Airsoft in terms of the stuff they put out there. They have point systems so that you can actually unlock things and kind of get rewards if you spend money there. As it's only $10 more than what I spent and the fact that this is really bad quality wood. For me, the really most impressive thing is the pack packaging, but I don't think I'm very happy. So I'm gonna give this a two out of five badger rating. It would have been a one, but actually because of the fact that they did all this extra work, I'd love to know what you guys think. One thing to mention is I did not pay shipping. It does do 250 for shipping. I expect it would have been $10 more. So probably I wouldn't have picked this, but the value is probably there more than what I spent. It's gonna be more than $10 to send it, I'm sure. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. See you on the next one or on the next live stream where we're giving away things like this. Cheers, guys. See you soon. Goodbye.